Hey there, uh, this is Chuck G. Violin, and today we're going to learn how to make a mute out of a dollar bill. I have an assistant for today's gig, and his name is Jack. We got the music, son! Yo! <laughs> okay, I do not have an assistant. Today, I'm going to show you all by myself how to make a dollar bill mute. Okay. First, let me tell you this. Don't do this unless you are comfortable messing around here. Okay, because if you're not comfortable, you know, with this sort of thing, or like if you're a young student or whatever, you need to have an adult do it or somebody who knows how to do this, who knows how to kind of manipulate the strings a little bit here. It's not that complicated, but you want to be really super careful. Now, what you'll need for this is an ordinary dollar bill. Just so happens, that's all I have. Okie dokie. And the reason you're going to use money, a dollar, is because this paper is a lot softer and more flexible than regular, like, paper paper. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to roll this up. Now let me tell you something. Especially for you adults out there. Rolling like this, you want to tell somebody you're doing a mute thing and not, you know, messing around. Because if mommy or your wife sees you doing this, and doesn't know what you're doing, they're gonna beat you so hard, they're gonna, you're gonna forget how to tie your shoes. Okay, so for this next part, you're gonna take the violin, okay? And this is, this is kind of tricky, but not too much, okay? You're going to feed it underneath, okay, over the G string, underneath the D string. And again, this is why you're using a dollar and not regular paper. And then back under the E string. Ta-da! Really, that's all there is to it. So, now, we hear something like this. This is normal. mute on. That's really all there is to it. It works kind of like those wire mutes that slide up and down. This is an emergency thing. This isn't like you're going to use this forever. This is for when you show up at orchestra rehearsal and you forget your mute, okay, which is you've got to have a mute with you. It's a tool that you need to bring with you just like you would bring your bow or your instrument. You've got to have a mute when you play in an orchestra because a lot of music, and even some solo music, calls for mutes. So, you know, like Zygunderweisen, you know, the... You know, like, you know, you need to, you need to be able to play you know, and have a mute with you. It's just like having the tools that you need to succeed. If there are any questions, you can always contact me. You can find me at chuckgviolin.com, facebook.com slash chuckgviolin, on Twitter, at chuckgviolin. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more cool videos like this. Let me know how cool this video is. If it's not cool at all, well, try to use as little profanity as possible. Thanks so much. You guys have a great day.